is a Lego. I'm recording a small video during the Costa Rican rainstorm, and I'm getting soaked. Right now, what you're seeing is a soccer field. I'm gonna do a little bit of a walkthrough for Sarki Norte, and hopefully it won't take longer than five minutes because that's all the memory space I got on my phone right now. And yes, I'm recording this with my phone. So, if you're new to my channel, then, then so am I, because this is a brand new channel. Okay, see, that's the supermarket, and not sure you can make out the picture. Hold on, I'll try to clean off the lens a bit. Sorry. It's really raining, and I think the, wa I think the water got on my lens. Hold on. Okay, so... Sorry, just need to... Okay, so... This is Sarchi Norte. Uh, um... I don't want to walk around too much because of the rain, so... Eesh. Yeah, it is really, really pouring. Um... Let's see. Right now, I'm actually standing under this tree. This will provide me with some shade. What I might do is I might go over to that farm field over there. Maybe. Or... Hold on. There's a little bus stop over there I might be able to go under. Okay, let's see if we can make that up here. Okay. Okay. Costa Rica, or at least the Sarch area, is famous for the ox cart. Don't ask me why, I mean, back, back where I used to live, our town mascot was a goblin, but here, it's an ox cart. Believe it or not. Now, like I said, the video quality is probably going to be terrible. I say it's probably going to be terrible because I'm going to check it out later to see how bad the video quality is. Okay. Let's see. That is a place over there called Polo Landia. It's a chicken restaurant. My opinion, it is better than KFC. This looks like a bit of a monument, I guess. Can't really see it because it's nighttime, but maybe later on I'll put a new, a, a different video on it to show the bit of um, information on that. Now. I'm gonna be crossing the street here. Hopefully I don't get run over by anything. Now, also there's a lot of street dogs in this area, so if I meet, if you ever go to Sarchi Norte, you'll see a lot of stray dogs with, a, with um, bad injuries on them. Unfortunately, okay, that's a tomato plant. Why is there a tomato plant on the side of the road? This is for the hobo. I'm not kidding, there are actually hobos here. Oh, technically homeless people. It's kind of mean to call them hobos. If you hear, if you're able to hear the church bells uh, from all the cars driving by, that is from over there, that green church. If I manage to get over there fast enough, um, what I'll do is I'll, take a, I'll, I'll probably get a bit of a close-up on that. That over there is a store called the Pali. It's, um, not too expensive, I guess, but you definitely can't find root beer there, so it's not the kind of place I'm going to go to. Okay. I'm a bit under a bit of a shelter at the moment. You hear those bells? I think that might be a Catholic church, I'm not sure. If any, of you, if any of you know what those bells mean, just, just, just leave it in the comments. Because it doesn't sound like an American bell, you know, church bells, where it just tells the time. It's more something else. Okay. Any of the people I am passing right now, I do not know. So